In just 25 days, the polls will open and a high stakes, high stakes election will be upon us. But right now, the right to the ballot for thousands of voters hangs in the balance as the Nebraska Supreme Court continues to mull a major case, one which had oral arguments almost two months ago. But as of tonight, still no decision. 1011's John Grinvalds talked to one of those people waiting in the wings, and he has this report from the field. I don't understand why I have to have those wounds reopened again. When they had just healed over. Regina Wright spent 68 days behind bars with a conviction that branded her a felon. She says she got out in 2009 and started to turn her life around. I was so excited. I began to immediately vote after my two-year waiting period. I wanted to be an active, participating citizen of my country and of my state. And a decision made in the legislature this year to end that two-year waiting period for felons to vote seemed to even further enfranchise people with past convictions, allowing them to vote after serving their sentence. But the attorney general called it unconstitutional, arguing that it's the exclusive preserve of the pardons board to restore a person's civil rights. Secretary of State Bob Evnen agreed and refused to enforce this new law, even calling into question the 2005 law, which let felons vote after two years. I feel like I'm still incarcerated. I feel like I'm still being punished. As election day nears, many are still in the dark on what to do. It makes no sense that we're still waiting on the decision from the Supreme Court. I've received calls and messages from individuals that we're expecting to vote who are confused about what's going on. Regina got her Douglas County ballot mailed to her, but she doesn't know if the ovals she darkens will matter. Because of the record that the governor and the pardons board has of being so sparse with their pardons, I have zero confidence in the fact that I'll ever be able to vote again. Evnen reminded Nebraskans today the deadline to register to vote online is next Friday and the deadline to register to vote in person at a county election office is Friday, October 25th. Reporting in Lincoln, John Grinvolts, 1011 News.